what's up little M's beauty babes so right now I'm going to be doing a how to video um, on how to make fake bruises um, I felt like this was like a simple quick video um, and I, I just want to let you guys know I had to take a break with like makeup because I had a bad allergic reaction to the latex um, I'll probably insert an image somewhere right here to show you guys like what happened to my face I had a really bad like uh, rash on this side of my face it's still healing but it definitely looks better than what it did um, but yeah I just want to do this quick how-to video for you guys and um, tell me what you guys think and give this video a fat thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to always be notified of my videos. Comment what you guys think of this how to make bruises video and let's get this started. This will look, you know. So I think I'm going to start off with like the lightest brown, which is like this brown, I think. I think this brown would be like the closest. So I'm going to lightly tap it around my eye. like that and make sure you guys blend blending is very important when you're trying to make like a bruise I'm lightly tapping it right now I'm not even like blending yet let me get my glasses real quick Here is my blending brush. This is like one of my favorites. So we're going to lightly blend it out to give it like that contrast. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, so now we are going to go in with some, let's see, I think we're going to go in with some blue, but like, let's see if I have any other blues. Let's see this blue. Now that blue is too bright. So we're going to go in lightly with like a mix of two different blues, like that, because we wanted to make it look like a black and blue, you know? So I'm going to lightly tap around. Okay, now we're going to blend. I think we can go in with a little more blue. Just to give it that like bruised up look. Okay. So now we are going to go in with some purple. We're going to go in with like a matte purple, not sparkly, obviously. So we're going to go in with like very lightly. Let me get another brush. Very lightly, we're going to go in with some purple. And we wanted to make it look like, like a really bad black and blue. I think it's starting to look like a bruise. I swear it looks like a bruise. But we're going to go in with more purple for the top part. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. Let me get my wipe. 
I'm gonna also show you guys like skin bruises, like on my face we're gonna do. Alright, we're gonna start blending that in. You don't want the bruise to look like like you got socked in the eye type thing, but you want it to look realistic as possible. Okay. So now we're going to go in with some black. Now this is where you got to be careful with the black because this is where it can mess up. So... We don't want it to look like too dramatic, but we do want to look too dramatic, if that makes sense. And what I'm using, guys, to make this bruise, I am actually making uh, using the James Charles palette. Um, I feel like this is a really good palette to use to do this type of look. Okay, so that looks like a pretty bad bruise. So now I'm going to like spread it like on the bottom just to give it that like, you know, it's not just in one spot type of thing. And just go in circular motions just to spread it. Just like that. Oh, that looks bad. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys the same thing, just with my skin. So I'm going to probably put a bruise right here, because why not? Um, so the first color I used was blue. Was it? No, it was brown. <laughs> it was brown. So we're going to go on with the brown. So we're just going to, you know, put it where I want it and then we're going to blend it. Circular motions like so. Make sure the brown is like fully blended because you don't want it to have like that dark dimension to it. Okay, now we're going to go in with the blue. I don't know what brush I just used for that though. No. Now we're going to go in with the blue very lightly. Spread it. It doesn't have to, you don't have to follow the brown with it guys. Just make sure. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. So... It looks pretty bad already. Like, I don't think if I added purple, like, I don't want it to make it, like, too dark. But I'm going to add the purple and stuff to make it look like a bruise. So we're going to, I'm adding very lightly, guys. Like, I'm not doing it, like, what, the way I did it with my eye. So we're going to add the purple certain spots. Then we're gonna spread it. Yeah, I look like I got punched in the face, guys. Alright, lastly we are gonna go in Let's see what color I use next. Use purple. So we're going to go in with the black. Now this is where I'm going to do like one tap. Because I don't want it to be too dark. That makes sense. And a bruise is usually circular or like 
not its like normal shape. So make sure you spread that black good so it doesn't look like it's makeup. Wow, that looks really realistic. It's crazy. I feel like I need to add more brown to my eye. Because this one looks pretty realistic. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to add more brown to the eye part. Just to give it that. So we're just going to go around it to give it that, like, you know, like that. Then let's just spread it. Yeah, that looks more realistic. Because when it's a first a bruise, guys, you gotta think. It's usually brown at first. Like around. So let me show you guys. This looks like a badass bruise. This looks like a very light, like I got punched in the face type of thing. But this is how you guys make a bruise. Um I'll let you know I let you guys know down in the comments. Like the colors I use, the palette I use, and all that good stuff. Because I know some people are always trying to do bruises and whatnot. And they can never get the right colors for it. So I generally, like I didn't even have to look up a video to see what colors. I just know like black, blue, purple, brown is like the colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, I want to do something simp simple and quick for you guys. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.